Hi and welcome to category 12 of mini program challenges. These are going to be the most challenging mini programs yet. They all relate to object oriented programming in Python. And right now on the screen you can see we uh, the timestamp for all the questions. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to just go ahead and take a look at it. Now, let's just go ahead and dive into these questions. So the first question says, create a vehicle class with max speed and mileage instance attributes. So go ahead, pause the video, and you're going to see my solution after three seconds. So how was the solution? I'm sure you did great. Now, to be able to create a vehicle class, we need to say vehicle. And it is a Pascal case. It means that the um, class name, it should have its first letter capital. There are no underscores there. Now, we need to create instance attributes as well. So I'm going to say init. And I'm going to pass in self max speed as well as the mileage. Is it like this? I'm, sh I, I'm not really sure about that, but it's okay. So I'm going to say self dot max speed, max underscore speed is equal to max speed, max speed, and self dot mileage, mile h is equal to mileage. There we go. So that's about that. Let's go ahead and let's create an instance. Um, uh, or let's just go ahead and let's instantiate this class. So I'm going to say uh, some model, just say like that. I'm going to say vehicle, and I'm going to pass in. So for max speed, I'm going to say 220, and I'm going to say the mileage is, let's say, like, I don't know, like um, 15, something like that. And I'm going to say print uh, some model dot max speed as well as some model dot mileage let's just save that let's go ahead and let's run it and let's see what we get we got 220 and 15 so that's it for question number one question number two says create a vehicle class without any variables and methods so like always pause the video and you're going to see my solution after three seconds now, to be able to create a vehicle class without any variables and methods, we need, to ins we need to create a class without anything inside of it. So when you want to create a block and don't provide any code inside of it, the keyword that you, that you have to use is pass. Otherwise, empty blocks, they're not allowed in Python. That's it for question number two. Moving on to question number three. It says create a child class bus. That will inherit all of the variables and methods of the vehicle class, given we have these, we have this class. So, like always, pause the video and you're going to see my solution after three seconds. First off, I'm going to grab this parent class and I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to class create a class of bus. This is going to inherit from the vehicle parent class and I don't want it to do anything and um, let's go ahead and let's instantiate this I'm going to say school uh, school underscore bus and I'm going to say bus I'm going to pass in uh, like um, I'm you know I'm just going to say uh, some bus whatever uh, I'm going to say it goes 150 and the mileage is 12. And I'm going to say print uh, the school bus, school, school bus. Come on. So where is the school bus? C O O O L. S come on, man. Dot, uh, dot name. And I'm going to say, uh, oops, that is school underscore bus. That's why it doesn't work. There we go. I'm going to say school underscore bus dot name. Let's just copy that and let's put it here. And I'm going to say dot max speed. And I'm going to say 
uh, that dot mileage. Let's go ahead and let's run that. So the name is Sambas. 150 and 12. You could pro you could provide this inside a formatted string that would look better, but this is just for demonstration purposes. That's it for question number three. Question number four. So here is question number four. Um, it says create a bus class. This is but this belongs to class inheritance. Create a bus class that inherits from the vehicle class. Give the capacity argument of bus the seating capacity a default value of 50. Use the following code for your parent class. You need to use method overriding. So there is a lot of hints. Go ahead, pause the video. You're going to see my solution after three seconds. First things first, I'm going to copy everything that we have here. I'm going to put it right here. So I'm going to say class uh, bus. This is going to inherit from the vehicle class. And I'm going to create a method here that is seating capacity. And it just created everything for us. Uh, we have the self. I didn't do anything. It just created everything by itself. I'm going to provide the capacity a default value of 50. And in here, I'm going to provide that as well, like 50. And the super method, we know that it allows us to access methods in a parent class, right? We know that. We have talked about this a lot. Now, let's go ahead and let's instantiate this class. I'm going to say school underscore bus. This is equal to bus uh, busy uh, bus. And uh, let's say 110, like two numbers. And I'm going to say print uh, school bus dot seating capacity. And I'm going to call that function. Let's go ahead and let's run it. So what do we get? The seating uh, capacity of a busy bus is 50 passengers. Very cool, right? So that's it for question number four. Going on to question number five. It says, uh, define property that should have the name value for every class instance. Define a class attribute color uh, with a default value white. That is, every vehicle should be white. Now, go ahead, pause the video. You're going to see my solution after three seconds. Now, I'm going to copy all of this code, put it right here. I need to create a class attribute. So I'm going to say uh, color. This is going to be white for all of the buses that we have. I'm not going to change anything else. And I'm going to say school uh, bus. This is going to be equal to let's instantiate the bus class. I'm going to say so uh, vol. No, not that. Uh, bends. Usually in Afghanistan, buses are bends. So I'm going to say 110 and 11. And I'm going to say print. So school bus dot color and I'm going to say school bus dot name and this is going to be school bus dot uh, max speed as well as school bus dot mileage there we go I'm going to instantiate the uh, the car class as well let's just go ahead and let's run that it, both of them they inherit from the vehicle class so for this one, I'm just going to say um, car, car, and we have the car class. And I'm going to say, I could just set it to something that Lambo that I love. And I'm going to say, I don't know, like 380, something like that. And I, I'm not really sure about the mileage. So let's grab all instances of school bus and change it with car. There we go. So let's go ahead and let's run this. Let's see what we get. We got white Benz, this, this, white Lambo, 380 and 11. Awesome. Moving on to question number six. Question number six is also class inheritance. It says, basically, there is a lot of stuff. And it says, create a bus child class that inherits from the uh, vehicle class. The default fare charge. Uh, th these are very simple, so I'm going to give you some time. To pause the video, three seconds, read the question, and then follow me after three seconds. If 
If there was something difficult, which I'm sure there is not going to be anything difficult, you can follow me to the answers section. So, see you then. Now, let's go ahead and let's grab everything that we have uh, right here. So, I'm going to copy everything that we have right here and I'm going to paste everything right there. Now, the first thing that I would like to do is within the bus class, I'm going to remove the pass. I'm going to say def fair, and I'm going to provide the self argument. The amount, amount is going to be equal to super dot, uh, let's grab it from the parent dot fair. Uh, that's going to be super dot fair and then I'm going to grab the amount and I'm going to using the augmented assignment operator I'm going to say amount amount uh, times 10 divided by 100 and then I'm going to return the amount all right so we have school bus a total bus fare is this let's save that let's go ahead and let's run it so we we got total bus fare is 5500 that's a lot of money right so that's it for question number six let's move on to question number seven question number seven says determine which class a given bus object belongs to check type of an object check type of an object so pause the video attempt the challenge you're going to see my solution after three seconds Everything is right here. I'm just going to copy that, put it right here. I'm not going to change anything else. I'm going to say print. Uh, I'm going to use the type function, type of school bus, school bus, and I'm going to run it. And it says it is it uh, it belongs to the main module, right, or the main class. It inherits from the main class. So that's it for question number seven. Moving on to question number eight. It says, determine if school bus is also an instance of the vehicle bus. How can you determine that? Go ahead, pause the video. You're going to see my solution after three seconds. Now, we're not going to do anything too crazy here. Uh, the only thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to say print is instance. And I'm going to pass in the school bus, uh, school bus, and then I'm going to pass in the vehicle. That's it. Let's go ahead and let's run that. And we got true. Very cool. So with this, our category 12 of object-oriented programming exercises and many programs have come to an end. See you in the next category.